it's Calcifer and today is a fashion haul specifically for EDC Orlando. Of course when you go to a music festival and or rave you gotta have some nice outfits so I went shopping for some nice outfits. I am only going one day I'm only going Saturday because we're old and we can't party that hard anymore but I figured I'd get some options you never know you might change your mind you might just have a cute outfit for later on. Who knows? Anyways, I have a fashion haul for you guys from thrift stores to Target to Forever 21, ASOS, uh, Shein. So I'm just gonna show you my collective haul that I've gotten for multiple outfits for EDC for the one day event that I am going to. So I'm gonna start off with the thrift stores because I unfortunately did not find that much luck specifically trying to find neon. Neon in general in fall is actually very difficult within the industry um, seasons because obviously it's become um, fall colors, heck there's already Christmas stuff out so you know neon is much more of a summertime color so that's gone even though it's Orlando and it's hot 95% of the year but they don't care it's 90 degrees outside they want you wearing sweaters which I do anyways. So while I was thrifting I was able to find uh, neon things but it, there are just some things that are just like, eh, or I wouldn't really want to wear that, or does it fit the vibe? So I went shopping for my boyfriend and I. I went out shopping looking for stuff for him. Uh, the first thing I'm going to start with is this tank top found at Goodwill. As you can tell, it is very neon. Uh, he wanted a tank top versus a t-shirt because, again, it is Orlando and it's humid most of the time. It might cool down by the time of November, but that's very rare. Usually it doesn't cool down, cool down until like the end of November into December and then it doesn't get super cold until January for like two weeks and then it goes back to humidity. So we went with a tank top, especially since we are going to be outdoors most of the day. Um, just want to be comfortable. And then for me, I went to the bathing suit section. The bathing suit section is actually really good to find decent tops. Um, you can try to find a tank top, but again, there were some that just didn't fit the vibe and whatnot so I just went to the swimsuits because those are a little bit more colorful and I was very successful with one. Um, I picked this one up. Again, this is a swimsuit so I love the neon color blocking. This is great especially since it's going to be hot and it's gonna be sweaty and it's not gonna be that fun um, sweating most of the time so with this, with wearing this, it's gonna keep me pretty cool. Um, I don't have to worry about it sticking to me as bad. And the other bathing suit I had picked up is just, just plain, um, it's got a pattern rib to it, but it's just, just plain um, black triangle swimsuit top. You can't go wrong with it. I have mesh tops. I was just going to put that on top of this if I couldn't find anything else that went well with it, or if I didn't feel that confident just wearing a swimsuit top, I could just wear a mesh top over it or another tank top. Simple. It's a simple go-to. Next, I'm going to move to Forever 21. Luckily, Forever 21 had some very little. It was actually mainly clearance. They had some neon stuff, again, because the seasons has changed. Has changed. Um, it is now fall. All the winter stuff is in there. And so all the summer stuff went on sale, which is kind of a plus. Um, when you start shopping off seasons for certain things, it's kind of a plus, but also difficult at the same time. So it's kind of like roulette. Just like if you go to the thrift store, you never know what you're gonna find. So the first thing I picked up is a bodysuit. It's this pleather looking esque type of material with um, really cute lacing in the front. Second from Forever 21 is this two top. I love, I love, love Nintendo a little too much. So I got this Super Nintendo, um, the SNES um, racer top, if you shall call it. Next top I got. Now this one could be for EDC. If not, I just I just liked it in general. I this really red neon yellow uh, halter top that has warning, um, has a warning uh, warning label. Yeah, that's it. Oh, also the theme I was kind of going for was the cyberpunk kind of um, rave look. I'm not that super cool to have that kind of stuff or super punk, um, but. I'm slowly getting into it. I just try to think of The Matrix or something like that. And then the last piece I got from Forever 21, oh, is one of my favorite things ever. 
is this set of overalls. They're black fabric. I think they called it twill online, but I got them in store. But they're like jogger style, so they're cinched at the bottom. And oh my gosh, they're my favorite pair of overalls ever. This actually fits me really, really, really well. And it's super comfy, super soft. And I just love this so much. Oh, and I got it on sale. Literally, I was at Forever 21 a week before I got, I went there again. I went to a different store because it was bigger. I literally tried on a pair of overalls from when I bought my bodysuit and I loved them, but they were $40. I was like, oh no, oh no. Put those back, went again the next week at a different store. These were on sale, they're half off, 20 bucks. And I was like, heck yes, give me a pair. Next is Shein. I did order quite the amount of stuff. Not nothing too crazy, not that many. All right, so I'm gonna start off right off the bat with my favorite top, but I will not show the try on haul because I have to honestly, I honestly have to wear pasties with them because ooh, it's scandalous. She's scandalous. And I don't know if I have the confidence to wear it to EDC, but at the same time, I don't think anybody's gonna care. So <laughs> here she is, this has a parachute buckle in the front and this is more of like a bikini top material but obviously it's super super thin because you can see right through it i don't know if you can see right through it but it's super thin that's why i have to wear pasties with it like, and that's why i don't know if i have the confidence to wear this to edc honestly it makes me look great i feel very powerful in it but mm, something might happen <laughs> so that's why i'm not showing the try on all but i'll post a picture right there of what it's supposed to look like. And it looks good. I like it a lot. I might wear it all over the other things I have picked up, but I'm not sure yet. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, you'll see. You'll see on my Instagram when EDC comes around. So if you wanna see that, just go to my Instagram and follow me there. Shameless plug. So the next one, I'm not gonna show the try on portion because it doesn't fit me well. I've already tried them on, but it's just too big and um, it's also another top with a parachute buckle on it. Uh, it's just a black top with a strap underneath. So it's kind of got a cutout and it's supposed to give you like great under boob as it shows in this model right here. So that's why I got it because it looks really good. If I lift it to where the, um, the cut is supposed to be, the straps just fall off. But if I pull it down to where the straps kind of fit, it just doesn't look good overall. So fortunately I'm gonna have to return this one because it just doesn't fit really well, but the model looks real bomb in it. Okay, these next two items, I bought them together thinking as that they would look good together. I think they turned out pretty well. So the first top I got, uh, this bright green, lime green, uh, one shoulder top. Of course, it's got a parachute buckle on the front. And then to complement it, I have this one shoulder mesh top um obviously they're up i made them opposites of each other and I, but i thought those two were a really cute combo just again not sure if i'm gonna wear them together but i mean it's still really nice and i like them next up is some pants but it's this pair of cargo pants with netting that is see-through and it's got like this really cool ring detail so that's really neat so it kind of falls more towards the cyberpunk kind of rave look say with such confidence. So the other pair of cargo pants I got are these linen type pants. They do have, guess what, more parachute buckles on them. Three to be exact, um, with straps. So I really like that strap, strappy look, um, especially on cargo pants. Again, cinch at the bottom, got buckles and straps over the pockets and uh, it comes with a belt as well but uh, if I wear this one that belt's gonna be replaced because I picked up another belt so speaking of that other belt the other belt I did pick up is this neon green belt with a giant uh, parachute buckle on it so wanted to have length be strappy of course I did plan to wear a bandana but Excuse me. I did plan to wear a bandana. I still have to go find one, but that's easy to make. It's literally a square I can sew together. So I might wear that bandana. I don't know what color I'm going to do. Uh, originally I wanted to get a bandana and paint like canine teeth onto it or like cat teeth and like have it like over my nose. If I'm not going to wear that, uh, I did pick up a collar. It has a 
o-ring on it i did order one more item it hasn't come in yet but here's the picture it's um kaleidoscope goggles which i'm going to wear on my head so depending on which pants i decide to do two out of three don't have real pockets <laughs> or reliable pockets so of course with most uh festivals you see people wearing fanny packs so I did pick one up from Target. This one's really cool. I do like that it has three pockets to it. And I like that it has multi uh, pouches. I, I don't know. Multi pouches, utility belts look so dang cool. So obviously this one, I could try to fit my phone in it. If not, then one of these will hold my phone. My boyfriend's gonna have a backpack, so I don't have to worry too much about um, carrying some things, but um, I am worried about my wallet and my phone. So I'm gonna keep those in my fanny pack or on him because he's got bigger pockets because he's a dude. Keeping on with the neon theme, I picked up some neon blue sunglasses for him. And then the last thing I had picked up accessory wise from Target is body glitter. So last thing I have to unbox is my shoes from Acer's. There she is. Can you guess it? She's got a buckle. <laughs> I have to keep tying it in. Ugh. Okay. Okay. This isn't bad. Okay, now that I'm just holding one, it's not that bad, but these are pretty red. So that is it for today's fashion haul. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything else besides shoes, maybe. I'm not sure yet, but that's it for today's haul. If you like that, please hit the like button. Mm. So that is it for today's haul and so that is it for today's haul. I don't think I'm going to go shopping for EDC stuff anymore. Minus shoes, shoes are kind of still up there. I really hope you enjoy this video. If you'd like to see more, please let me know and I will see you later. Bye.